Hey guys, what's up? My name is Farza, and today I'm going to teach you how to use Riot's API to do some really fun stuff. And I'm going to keep everything very simple so even a beginner can follow along really easily. But before I start showing you how to do things, I'm going to show you how this program works, what you'll, what you'll be able to, to accomplish by the, by the end of this video. Okay, let's run the program. It asked me for my region, so I'm from NA, sadly. My summoner name and my API key which I'll talk about later. So this program gives me my rank, my division, and my and my league points. So I'm plat four at zero LP. Cool. So now to get started, what you want to do is download my file called Tut, which is included in the description below. And I have it right here as well. Tut. And what Tut has is um it has my program so this giant program here, what's well, not it's not giant at all. This small program here, which uh, gives me my rank, my leak points, and all that stuff, I give to you. So it makes it a little easier for you. And two other things, which I'll explain later. All right, so as you can probably tell by this program, I'm writing it all in Python. And the reason I'm using Python is because Riot gives us the data that we need in a, in a format called JSON. And you can think of JSON as like a giant dictionary. And Python makes it really easy to parse, which is why I'm using it. So let's go ahead and uh, install Python. So go over to Python's website, python.org. Go to Downloads. And uh, I, would, I would say to download Python 2.7.10, just because that's what I'm using. I'm not sure if everything will be working correctly on 3.5. So just go for 2.7 for now. So in, your, so in your tutorial file, you have something called getpip.py. And that's basically the installer for pip. And to install it, we have to go to our command prompt. And um, we actually have to first change directories to where this file is. So it's on my desktop right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my desktop. Let me fix this window a little bit. I'm going to type in tut because that's what my file is called. And if I drag my file, actually first let me type this command. Type in this command first, cd, which allows us to change directories. So once you have cd typed in and you press space once, you're going to get this file and you're going to drag it into command prompt and that automatically cop copy and paste the path so let's do that and press enter and then to actually install pip all you have to do is type in python get pip py and uh, you're going to press enter and it should bring up a bunch of if i press enter right now it'll probably just say it's downloaded already yeah it's already up to date so yeah when you guys do it um, at home it, uh, it should bring up a, a bar, a loading bar, which it shows that it's installing. Also, a very important side note is um, if you get an error that says Python cannot be uh, recognized as an internal or external command, then that means it's not installed as an, an, as an environment variable. So it's really easy to fix that. We're going to go to our control panel and go for environment variables. We're gonna, we want to edit the environment variables. And uh, once you're at the screen here, you're going to go to path. You can click edit, and um, you should see Python here. If your if your paths do not do not look like mine, then you want to make sure that they do because if they don't, then you're probably going to have some trouble. And it all depends on where you installed Python. So I installed Python like directly on my C drive. So it make sure you path it correctly. So mine it usually installs for most people directly on their C drive, but just make sure that you have the right directory here as well. This basically allows us to use Python commands in, in control panel. So when I type in Python, you should see this. You should see the version number and a lot for any help you might need. And then from there, the final step in actually installing everything is um, typing in pip install requests. And once you click enter there, you should have requests and everything should be good from there on. And once again, if you get that error that says pip cannot be recognized as a command, make sure that your environment variables are correct because that is really going to cause you trouble if they're not correct. You want them to look like mine. Alright, so once you've installed requests, that's the end of like the installing part of the, this tutorial. Now you can actually do the fun stuff. So the first thing you want to do now, after you've done all that, is you, you want to get an API key. You can't use my API key because it's mine. So you want to go to uh, this website, developers.riotgames.com you want to sign in with your League of Legends account and you want to request an API key and it will give you a free API key which you can use for whatever you want. 
So let me uh, switch gears to my program here and explain how things work. So it's called API Grabber. I'm actually going to, when you downloaded Python, you also downloaded Idle, which is Python's GUI. So I'm going to go ahead, go to Idle. I'm going to go File, Open. And I'm going to open from my touch file, API Grabber.py. And there it is. So let me explain how this works exactly. Okay, so okay, so it all starts right here. I ask them to give me the region, the summoner name, and the API key. So they input all that, and I save each of those things as a variable. And once I uh, have each of those things, I send that stuff over to my method called request summoner data. So I send the region, the summoner name, and the API key over to request summoner data, which is right here. So how request summoner data works is I create a URL using the data I was given by the user. So here, as you can see, I'm making a URL with the region, the summoner name, and the API key. So what this URL is, is it links me directly to a JSON file, which has all that data I want in it. All right, so let me briefly run down how Riot's API works. Right now, I'm on their official website, their API website. I'm going to click Full API Reference. And this gives me all of the methods that are in Riot's API. And it's a ridic ridiculous amount of methods and stuff. You have everything from like match history to what skin you use in a, in a specific game. So this is a simple example. I'm going to scroll down to Summoner, click Summoner Names, and I'm going to type in my username, a wild turtle, and I'm going to execute my request. Let's see what I get. So what I get back is a URL. And in this URL, I have my JSON file. And in my JSON file, I have a bunch of data that I can use for stuff, right? So this is all a JSON file is. It's just a bunch of data in that, that's ordered. And, and you can actually grab specific data. And you'll see how we do that later. So from here, you can see I have a, I get something called an ID. This ID is core to um, actually getting other things. Because you can't just type in your summoner name and get stuff back using Red API. You have to use your ID. So let's just see how that runs back in our program. So in request summoner data, I create a URL. And what URL, and what URL am I creating? I'm creating this URL right here. This URL right here. And um, from that URL, I uh, use response.request.getURL. And request.getURL is something we installed from requests. And what response is, is response is actually that JSON file that we get back. So this is response. That's what we get back. And from there, I return that. I return return. I return response.json, and uh, I get it back right here. Is that where I get back? Yeah, that's where I get it back. And then once I actually get it back, I want to extract that ID out of that JSON file. So remember here, we have that ID. I want to take that ID out of there, and I want to I want to use it. I want to store it in a variable. I want to I want to keep it. And that's really easy. How I do that, because how JSONs work is. You can think of them sort of like arrays or dictionaries. or I, like to, I think of them as arrays. That's just how I think of it. But probably the easiest way to think of, think of it is a dictionary, where you can go to a specific place and pick out what you want. So here, I say my ID is going to be equal to response JSON and then this stuff. So remember, response JSON is the JSON that we got back. So from there, I want to go to summoner, my, from summoner name ID. Okay, so what does this mean? Summoner name is what? Summoner name is what we input. So I input a wild turtle. That's my summoner name. So pretend like over here it says a wild turtle because that's essentially what it is. It's just a variable. And then I go to ID, which is that index that we want, that part of the dictionary that we want. So here you see we have ID. So once I go to a wild turtle and then I go to ID, I'm going to get this number. So you can see, do you guys see how that works here? Once I uh, once I go to summoner name, which is a wild turtle, I'm going to go to a wild turtle. I'm going to go for the ID, and I'm going to got the ID right here, and um, it's going to give me that number. And that's how we pick our data in a JSON file. It's really weird and tricky in the beginning, but uh, it's it's a lot of trial and error as well. But once you really understand how they work, it's it's really simple. So once you understand how we actually picked out that ID from the JSON file. The rest is really easy. 
And um, now let me show you exactly how I got um, my rank, my uh, league points, and um, the, d the division I'm in. So plat 4, 0, LP, how did I get that information? And it's all in one method, how I got that. And it was something called request rank data. So let's go back to where we stopped at the program. We stopped right here at response.json. Oh, actually, we stopped uh, at our ID. Yeah, we picked our ID out. So once I get that ID, I want to use that ID to get more information. So I send that ID over to request rank data, which is my second method right here. And what request rank data does is it makes a brand new URL. Because remember, every method in the right API, all these methods, they have different URLs that you have to make. You have to make URLs specifically for them. So in this situation, I wanted to make a URL for this one right here. League by summoner, summoner ID slash entry. So I do that right here. And the way I make URLs is it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward how basically I'm recreating I'm recreating this URL right here in my program. I'm programmatically I'm making them custom every time. So they're not like they're not the same URL because the same URL every time would be boring. We want to change things up. We want to make things custom. So that's how I do that here. Um, but yeah, this this URL that you see here is essentially the same as this one right here. They're both getting the same data, is what I'm saying. But it's just they made they made custom. So I pass this URL. I plug in my region. I plug in the ID which I took from the JSON file. And it's like in the API key. And it returns to me a brand new JSON file. This is a completely different JSON file. So let me show you guys. Let me show you this JSON file. This JSON file is way more complicated, right? It has a bunch of stuff. Like you can see, it says like platinum here. All right, that's cool. So how, how do we exactly read this? So let me uh, change windows here to Wright's version of this JSON. And it's, their JSON is just a little bit more organized. It's spaced a little better. So I like, I'm going to explain using their JSON right here, or rather using the way it's formatted here because it's just easier to look at. It's not ugly. So let me fix these windows a little bit. All right, so we have response JSON 2. Response JSON 2 is the second JSON that we received from request rank data. And um, let's see where we get all that stuff from. So first I want to get platinum. I'm platinum, right? So how do I get that? As you can see, it says right here, platinum. Awesome, now how do I get that out of there? So, what we do is we do what we, the same thing we did for ID, we want to pick that out. So, we're going to do response JSON2, because this is our second JSON file. And now, you can see that it starts with our ID, right? So, that's what we want to start with. We want to start with our ID. So, I plug in my ID here, which is the variable. Remember, we, I got that out custom from, the, from previously. So, ID is right here. And I plug that in right here. So that goes into the JSON file. So that's level that's level one. So right now we're right here. Right now we have all this stuff. But we, we want to get even more specific. So now we want to get in this specific we, we want to get in, in this specific thing right here. This list. And that's at index zero. So you can tell here that all this stuff, you see between these two little curly brackets here, it's all in index zero. So we want to go to index zero. So that's what I do here. And then finally, I want to get my tier, which is platinum. So my tier is right here. And I say right here, I want to get my tier. And that is how I go into my JSON and get that data. Like I said before, it's, not, it's pretty straightforward once you understand how it all works. But you want to play around with it, see what you get. Like what if I just had this, right? So, so just play around there. Like what if I just had that? What would I get? Well, if I just had that, I would get all of this. I would get this entire JSON file. Because this entire, well, not all that stuff, well, but I would get all this stuff here, right? Uh, but I don't, want, I don't want all that stuff. I want to get specific, so I have all that other stuff. I have uh, zero and tier. And remember, zero is the index here. So I want to go to this zeroth index to get this, uh, this data. Oh, this is a little weird. Yeah, so this is the zeroth index. I want to get that data from there, and then I'm going to go to tier, and I pick out platinum, just like that. All right, and the last thing is the division and the leak points. I'm going to leave those two things up to you guys, and I want you to figure out how that works and exactly how I got that. Because it's, it's really similar to how I did here. Just remember, 
why the zero is here. Why am I using zero? I want you to look at how, uh, remember like that's the index of the list. So remember that, keep that in mind, and you should be able to get this really easily. And I'm gonna end the video here. I really hope that I helped you guys and I wasn't too confusing in how I explained things. I never really made a video teaching people stuff before, so I hope this, uh, this helped you guys out. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Tweet me on Twitter if you have any questions there, or message me on YouTube, or just leave a comment and I'll probably respond. And uh, yeah, see you guys later.